Well, good morning. I uh, wonder how your week has been. Was last week a good week or a bad week? Uh, was it a week where you feel you did quite well? Uh, or was it a week where you know you messed up? You know, sometimes we have good weeks, don't we? And then we maybe um, come to God quite confidently. Or maybe we forget to come to him at all because we don't feel we need him. And then sometimes we have bad weeks. Uh, where we come to God and we say, I just, I promise next week I'll do better. Or maybe in shame we feel we can't come to him at all. Well, I want to say this morning that whether you've had a good week or a bad week, Jesus Christ is full of compassion towards you. The Gospels tell us of a number of times when Jesus saw uh, big crowds of people and he said they were lost and helpless. They were like sheep without a shepherd. Uh, no one to guide them and protect them. A big crowd. They all had different experiences, perhaps different weeks leading up to that point. Some may have had so-called good weeks. Others may have had uh, bad weeks. The fact is all of them are in the same boat. They don't know what to do with their lives. They don't know how to uh, live for God. Like sheep without a shepherd. The Bible tells us when Jesus saw uh, those crowds like sheep without a shepherd, rather than thinking they were useless and rubbish and throwing them away, it tells us he had compassion towards them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Compassion. And however your week has been, whether you feel you've done well or you've properly messed up, Jesus Christ still has a heart full of compassion. And so the Bible tells us, and we'll look into this in a few weeks' time in uh, our series on Moses, but in Romans 9, um, it tells us that God said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. You can look at that from two directions. One is to say uh, that God chooses who he will show mercy to. And so, Paul tells us, it depends then not on human will or exertion, but on God who has mercy. God will show mercy. There's nothing you could do to uh, earn it or drive him to do it. But deep within his own heart, he's merciful and shows compassion. But it also works the other way. Where we can say that if God has chosen to set his love on us, to show us mercy and compassion then he will do it. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will show compassion to those to whom I will show compassion. So if you had a good week, know that you still need the mercy of God. There is nothing you could do to earn his favour. Only that God chooses to show mercy to you. But if you had a bad week, don't come to God and say, I, I promise I'll do better next week. Just come to him and say, I know I need help. Please have mercy. Because the mercy of God is not dependent on your own will, your uh, resolve to do it, or on your own exertion to get it done. It, it, it depends only on uh, the mercy of God from deep within his own heart. So Jesus Christ this morning looks on you like sheep without a shepherd and he feels compassion towards you and he can forgive you of all your sin because he came sinless as he was, the only one who didn't ever need to be shown mercy because he'd done no wrong, but he took our sin on himself. He was punished for it. He died on the cross and rose again three days later so that people like us who've got nothing within us to merit uh, the kindness of God could be shown great compassion, be completely forgiven 
washed of all our sin and be made right with God. So how's your week been? However it's been, uh, know that God shows mercy. If only you would call out and ask him.